Hi, my name is Jason Morgan. I'm a professional wildlife artist. And for this very quick demonstration video, I'm going to be showing you how I do this Lima drawing. It's in charcoal on black paper. Charcoal is a really new medium for me. And the black paper is the first time I've used it. So I'm really still learning the techniques and all about the equipment. But even so, I hope you find some really great ideas and tips and techniques. Hope you enjoy the video. Here I'm using white transfer paper under my drawing so that I don't get any mistakes when I'm transferring to the black paper. Then I needed rubber to wipe out most of the heavy marks so that I've just got a guideline. Now I'm using a charcoal pencil, Derwent, white, and then the stump, the paper stump to actually blend it in. Now some of these paper stumps are really hard, the cheaper ones you buy, and the Derwent ones are made from rice paper so they're really soft. So if you want a softer appearance, I'd use the Derwent ones. If you don't want the charcoal to spread as much, use the harder ones. Here I'm just putting in the highlight of the eyes and fur texture with the pencil before I'm blending it. And I'm always putting those marks in in the direction of the fur growth, just as I would with a normal oil painting. I'm using the white paper there just to rest my hands so that I'm not smudging too much on the dark. And then putting in some of the, the blurry outlines just with a, a light touch and then blending with that paper stump. I'm keeping the texture on the arms quite loose compared to the, the face because I want the att attention really to be drawn to the lemur's face and eyes. And you're putting on a second layer, blending it again with the stump. And I'm also sometimes using either a pastel pencil like pit or creta color or something like that or the white charcoal i find the pastel pencil gives a bit of a softer feel very slightly different to the charcoal but hardly noticeable this is only my third charcoal drawing so i'm still really experimenting with techniques and also the equipment at the moment here i'm putting in the details of the hands and the arms just building up layers and that's a great thing with charcoal you can build layers up quite easily now I'm adding some darks with a, a black pencil which, or black charcoal pencil which may seem strange on black paper but obviously you get some contamination as you're working with white so you need to re-establish the, the darks every now and again to really give a punchy appearance to it. Here I'm carrying on building up more of the final details. And then I'm starting to work on the very fluffy, furry body, blending it with my finger and then going back over to get, give the impression of the fur texture itself. Then building up a few more details, re-establishing a few more darks. Just before I put the final details in around the eyes last, the real pure whites, the highlights. And then on to the finished painting. Hope you've enjoyed my video. If so, you may like to subscribe. That way you'll never miss out on any of my new videos. There's also loads of tutorials, full length videos, demonstrations over on my website, jasonmorgan.co.uk. See you all again soon.